All right, so today we're talking about how to find the equation of a line, so y equals mx plus b, when given a point and a slope. So typically we have to find the slope, and we have the slope formula that we use, but this time it's given to you. I already know what m is. And they give you a point that the line goes through. So it actually makes our job really simple, because all we need to do is find out what the y-intercept is, or b. So once we find b, then we can plug m and b back into slope-intercept form and find out what my equation is. But rather than doing all the work and trying to crowd it on this worksheet, I've already made individual pages for us. Ah, very good. We'll look at number six first. So, m is one half, and the point it goes through is six negative or six comma one. And remember, slope-intercept form or an equation of a line is y equals m x plus b. So remember, b is the only thing I don't know. I have my slope. Now I need to find b, my y-intercept. But if I already know what m is, I wish I could just know what x and y are. If I knew what x and y are, then I can just plug all those numbers in and just get b by itself and figure out what b is. Well, guess what? They give you a point, 6, 1. So I'm going to plug in 6 and 1 in for x and y. And here's what I'll get. So 1 goes in for y, so 1 equals m is the slope, so it's 1 half, times x, which is 6, and then plus b. So the only thing I don't know is b. And now you might be wondering, why'd you leave a big gap like that with the 6? Because I'm going to put a 1 under 6. And remember, when you multiply fractions, if you can, you can cross-reduce. Or you can just continue uh, multiplying straight across, which is what I'll do. So 1 equals 6 over 2 plus b. 6 over 2 reduces to 1 equals 3 plus b. To get b by itself, we have to go across the equal sign with the 3, so we have to subtract 3 for both sides. 1 minus 3 will give me negative 2 equals b. So, now we know what b is. Now we need to find, using m, let's make our equation. So, remember, y equals mx plus b. This time we'll leave y and x in there. Now we'll just replace m and b. So, y equals 1 half x, because 1 half is the slope that we already knew. And then we'll put minus 2 behind x, because that is the y-intercept. And so that matches letter H right here. All right, so there's a good example. Let's do a couple more together. Let's go ahead and take a look at number 9 here. So m is equals negative 1 fourth. That's my slope, and the, it goes through point 0.21. Let's go ahead. I always like writing the slope-intercept form first, because, again, I'm going to plug in y, m, and x so I can find out what b is. So... There's x and y, so I'm going to plug 1 in for y and 2 in for x, and negative 1 fourth in for m. So 1 equals negative 1 fourth times 2 plus b. Let's put an invisible 1 under 2 and multiply straight across. We're going to get 1 equals negative 2 over 4 plus b. Negative 2 over 4 reduces to 1, negative 1 over 2. To get b by itself, we need to add 1 half to both sides, and so b is going to equal 1 plus 1 half. Now, in order to add these numbers together, I had to make both a fraction, so I'm going to put an invisible 1 down below. And in order to add fractions, we have to have common denominators. My common denominator is 2, so I need to change that 1 to a 2, so I multiply by 2 on both top and bottom. So I'm going to get 2 over 2 plus 1 over 2. And now that we have the same denominator, all we worry about is the numerators. 2 plus 1 equals 3. So my y-intercept y is 3 over 2. So using my y-intercept and my slope... We're now going to get to my equation, which is y equals negative one-fourth x, because negative one-fourth is my slope. And then behind x is the y-intercept, positive 3 over 2, which matches j right there. All right, and number 12 is m is 0, and the point is negative 5 and then 3 fourths. So let's plug it into y equals mx plus b. Again, I'm trying to figure out what b is, so we're going to plug in y, m, and x to find b. So x and y... So it's 3 fourths equals 0 times negative 5 plus b. Now here's what's interesting. What's 0 times negative 5? Well, 0 times anything equals 0. So really all I have is 3 fourths equals b. Well, that was easy. Now here's the interesting part. Let's plug the slope, I mean the y-intercept and the slope into y equals mx plus b. So I'm going to have y equals 0x plus 3 fourths. Now 0 times anything, we just talked about it, 0 times negative 5 is 0. Even 0 times a variable will equal 0. So that literally goes away, and all I have left is y equals 3 fourths. So my answer here is S.